Hello everyone, we're on a bit of a spree here, so we're continuing Lubu. We are heading south here, and it will be actual possible to take over the entire south land right here. So I'm actually very, very excited about that. Um, we will see how that kind of cons uh, transpires, excuse me. Um, so I do have a number of spies that I've managed to sneak into the enemy base which uh, I might actually send this guy as well, uh, see if I can get him in. So, yeah, and, and what we can basically do with these guys is we can continue. So as you can see here, so basically any of Liu Bei's are, uh, units that are inside the capital, I can entice, right? So I've already enticed Peng Tong once or twice, and I've enticed Zushu three times. So I know those two I can definitely grab. The rest, yeah, like there's there's definitely like a couple other kind of random units, but nothing really too big. Um, okay, let's get going. Let's see what happens this turn. They did head to the north. Okay, interesting. All right. I hate starting in woodlands <laughs> as cavalry. Okay, that's one way of doing it. I guess they'll end up going first. Oh, Jing Bao is there. Hungju. Yeah, so Hungju is a unit that I have not use that often actually well I, I barely ever get him because by the time Sao Sao yeah by the time Sao Sao's forces get in Hongju is dead quote unquote dead um, and then like I'm just thinking in terms of like where they're at And then, yeah, like, in Sunsei campaign, I typically don't have the units to do anything. Perfect. This will kill two units, I think? It might actually end the battle. It depends on what happens here, but... I guess I could have... Re no, Repel would have messed it up. Nice. So we'll end the battle. And this arrow should be enough to do another 2,000. Yeah, there you go, Hangzhou, coming in hot with the arrow. There we go. Now, it is possible, I think Gale Land's army might have gotten grabbed. Oh no, we're okay. Oh, we did get attacked. So they're attacking on multiple fronts. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, that's actually maybe not good. Um, the question is, how do we stop that? So basically, like, th this Ma Chao army has to stop the entire... Because... <laughs> okay. I think, I think I can... I'll take units from the Lu Bu army and make a third army. No, not Aw Two. <laughs> It's going to take forever to get out of that woodland. Oh, man. That is absolutely nutty.
don't often see catapults. That actually could be good for me. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. I just, I don't think that's going to be enough to kill. Oh, I can, I can uh, link this though. Um... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Okay, well. Why not? It will, there will be a bunch of tactics, like all on drunk phase, so that's good, so. It's like a three pierce combined, yeah, that, that'll be enough. This'll be enough, that's okay. Yeah, we're good. Why does he make that noise whenever? <laughs> it's uh, a little interesting. Oh, is it, is, oh, Zushu, or is this Peng Tong? It must be Peng Tong, because he's low. Yeah, it's, it's Peng Tong. That's actually really good for me, though. Um, th this is so annoying. <laughs> we'll you. Hmm. Yeah, so I'll have to create a third army with Lu Bu's uh, units. Guess I'll build a catapult too, why not? Ow. Rude. Yeah, the, the downside to like a pierce is that it, you go frickin' forever. I actually did a lot. That did a lot of damage. Why did your aid do so much damage? I didn't know generals had such high war value. What? That's nutty. No! It's just because they're really, really low. It's like when you can't even hold on like to like really bad units. Well, oh, you're actually facing the right way, funnily enough. They're all gonna end up going first. And those are guys are like the bottom of the oh my god. Great. They're just like out of the combat forever because of that. That A2 was just insanely good value. Like, I want to do this because it's going to set off the tactic chain, but it's only going to be a three. And it won't kill. Maybe if I lower his morale a little bit, it'll be good. Okay, so I do actually go before him. 
Like, that shouldn't break. Like, I guess it's... Oh, wait. I just messed up. Um... Okay, that could be good. That's good. Messes stuff up. So that may as well just raid into a raid here. There we go. Well, so it all kind of worked out. Like, we didn't do, like, a crap ton of damage to that side of the map, but... But you still got two units down on this side, so... There you go. Now we should end up going like super uh See this is where revive would be really good. I don't think that's going to get much better, honestly. Tong should actually join me here. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. He's been captured once and he's been enticed at least once. Oh yes, Peng Tong. We have gotten Peng Tong. Alright, so yes, there's a bunch of armies there. Okay. So Mondai will go there. Gaolan, we're going to disband you. Okay. So Lubu, we're heading down there. Oh, no, Gaolan. Oh, why did I disband? Shoot. Okay, well, we won't be able to take over those three territories, but that's okay. Okay, but what we're going to do, we're going to move... We don't need all these units. So, for instance, like, yeah, like Zheng He. Who do we want to level up? Yeah, so Sai Mao. Wait, who? Who does he synergize with? So Hungju Sai Mao. And Li Ji. 
Oh no, Liji, Liji can stay. Shanghai will go. Okay, and put Lu Lu Queen or whatever as. Uh... So that's five, and then like none of these armies are more than five. Yeah, so like four. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to recruit those units though. And yeah, so Saima will be this leader. Peng Tong. Maybe Hungju can be my other. Alright, who else can we entice here? Um, that might be good. Oh my god, he's so good. Need to put a revive onto Jigzu. So should Zhang Yun actually? He should go into the Sai Mao army because he actually synergizes with Sai Mao. So we don't really have any like heavy heavy hitters in this army right now. Um, if we get Hungju up, it's, it, we're gonna have some heavy hitters. Um, so that can go off of him. I feel like Shen Gong hasn't uh, leveled up in a while. Oops. Han Sui actually <laughs> synergizes with a bunch of these guys. Yeah, it's just so. It's just the kind of like middling. You know, like. I don't know. Like, I'm not against it, it's just. And that's kind of what we can do. Hung Jun does need some tactics. So the biggest one would be A2. And give him like, yeah, like a charge. Charge is definitely better than that. Honestly, like stat wise, he's pretty decent. There's definitely nothing wrong with him. Well, that sets us up now. How far are we in here? We're 19 minutes. Thank you, everybody. So Lu Bu, our his army is going to go down. So we have six turns left. So it will be five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. 
And then on the other side of the map, we have Ma Dai, which I will have to eventually turn into Ma Chao. Uh, Ma Chao got smacked around a little earlier, so... Um, but yeah, so Ma Chao, uh, his army will be holding off the Onslaught. Um, and then we also have a third army under Sai Mao here, who does have Tea Kettle, so he should be able to get to 80 LEA pretty easily. He's got super high LEA, just even baseline, so he's really good. And then, you know, Hung Zhu is a unit I haven't really used before, and he actually synergizes well with Sai Mao. And then we do have Zhang Yong, which we've been using, who synergize, who's a friend of Sai Mao. And we have Zhang He and Peng Tong, who we got uh, just recently. Oh, you know what? It's better actually to have. Zheng Yun. Yeah, so basically, yeah, so this army will be pretty strong. Um, once Hung Zhu gets a little bit stronger, he'll be a lot better. Um, but yeah, and obviously like, we have Pit, which is wonderful on the Mr. Peng Tong. So yeah, that's basically it. So definitely a lot more battles to come. And we're, we basically successfully gone around Jia Liang and flanked them. We're not going to be able to take over these three provinces right here, right now. We're not going to worry about it right now. I have a sneaky suspicion it's not a big deal. Um, it depends how this ba these battles go, because I want to basically hold both Xin Yi and Mao Jing, because apparently uh, Liu, Bu, or Liu Bei does attack both sides, which is quite annoying. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. So thank you, so much, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and next time, we're going to be continuing. See ya. See y'all later. Bye-bye.